Those dangerous drivers on the road, the drivers who are impaired by drugs or alcohol. IMPD just received a grant to specifically go after impaired drivers in areas where people have a history of drug abuse. RTV6's Jack Reinhardt shows us how officers are trying to make your roads safer. In April of last year, a man who took an oath to serve and protect took the life of this young man. The driver of that vehicle was an off-duty police officer driving under the influence of drugs. 23-year-old Jesse Sperry died instantly when the officer rammed his vehicle from behind. James Fouch, who had Xanax and hydrocodone in his bloodstream, was driving 92 miles an hour in a 55-mile-an-hour zone. Sperry's young wife was severely injured and their unborn child survived. Pam Kelshaw's 17-year-old daughter was killed by a drunk driver in 2002. Jesse Sperry was her nephew. He didn't protect or serve anybody that day. He created a death. He injured two other people. What right did he have to do that? According to a new federal study, 40% of all drivers killed in crashes had drugs in their system. And the number of motorists driving drugged has increased from 29% in 2005 to 40% in 2013. We've seen a, 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 a tremendous increase in the number who are only on drugs. Um, however, we always had that smaller percentage that were on alcohol and drugs, and that number is increasing as well. On city streets and state highways, drug drivers have become as much of a deadly menace as drunk drivers. In Indianapolis, Jack Reinhardt, RTV6.